So Afric, what we're gonna do is, we're going to extinguish these tea lights, but we're not gonna blow on them, okay? Okay. Okay, and we don't wanna put okay. water on them or anything like that. Okay. Okay, so do you have any ideas of how we could do that? Well, I don't know, you can't really waft them, I suppose, do you know what I mean? No, like, it's a good idea, but no. <laughs> we're, no. So, a flame needs oxygen to burn. Yeah. And if we get rid of the oxygen, the flame will go out. Okay. Okay? So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna create a lot of carbon dioxide okay. and we're gonna pour it over the candles. Okay. Okay? <laughs> right. Yeah. So what we have in this jug is bicarbonate of soda, so like what you'd bake with. And this is just normal vinegar. Okay. So if we put this in, what will happen is it will start to fizz up. Oh my God, amazing. That's the reaction of an acid and a base. Wow. That's, that's, that's what cool. happens. So what's been created here is lots and lots of carbon dioxide. In the? In this beaker. Okay. So then what we do is if we pour this <gasps> over. Oh my God. Did you see that? That's amazing. But nothing poured out. There was no liquid pouring out. That was the carbon dioxide. That's so cool. Do you like that? Yeah, this yeah. is what I wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I was hoping for some kind of fizzing action. And, and so that's how you blow out a candle without actually blowing out a candle. <laughs> Science delivered. Science delivered. <laughs> Science Week on RTE. See rte.ie forward slash Science Week.